The chief of the Metropolitan Fire Service says his firefighters are fed up battling blazes at a trouble plague Wingfield Waste Depot. The latest fire at the site finally extinguished today. The Environment Protection Authority investigating if enough was done to prevent it. After three long days, weary firefighters have put out the blaze at Adelaide Resource Recovery, the sixth since 2011. Firefighters get paid to go to fight fires. Um, um, are they fed up? I think if you talk to the firefighters, they'd, they'd be saying yes, they would be. This one has been unique in terms of the number of fires and that, you know, from my perspective that's unacceptable. But while the fire wasn't toxic to nearby residents, the MFS is now closely monitoring their own personnel who have fallen ill after previous fires at the site. Started to see a spike in, in call rate or sick, sick rate. People were sort of concerned that they had a Wingfield cough and so we've put in place some measures around that. Following the fire at the depot in January 2014, a number of regulations were placed on the company, which had to increase access and firefighting supplies, monitor the temperatures inside the piles of mulch and limit their size and separation. Without the pile size and separation, without the uh, additional works being done on the site, uh, I would imagine that we'd be still having crews there. The EPA will now investigate whether all of those regulations were adhered to in the days leading up to the latest fire. We will be really quite uh, awaiting, I guess, in terms of what the cause of this current fire is and whether we uh, uh, you know, can put further practices and uh, our requirements and, and further strengthen their, their licence if necessary. Adelaide Resource Recovery today declined to comment. Jack Paquetta, Nine News.